All right. Hi. Hi. So um, today is our third coaching session. Mm -hmm. So the last session I showed you how to use uh, the quizzes tool. Mm -hmm. We went over our checklist and um, we just watched your video for your um, lesson that you did using quizzes. Mm -hmm. um, so um, this is called the uh, improve session. Okay. Um, so we had the identify, the learn, and now the improve session. Mm -hmm. So um, with that being said, um, what did you think about what you saw in the video? How do you think the lesson went? Um, overall, I think it went really well. I can I can see where, I mean, this is my first time using it with the kids, of course. Mm -hmm. So there are things I could definitely improve on, mm -hmm. um, which I'm sure we'll get to. But yeah, yeah, I, I know that it could have been better, but it, it went well Good. for the most part. Good. Um, so you used it as a pretest because yes. you were starting figurative language, yes. so you just kind of wanted to get an idea of what your students knew. Yeah, because with our stars books, whenever we pull those out, mm -hmm. the kids are like, "Ooh, they, they get tired of seeing them." Right. So I thought this would be a great opportunity, and the stars book only goes over a few like parts of figurative language, mm -hmm. and with this, I could extend it right. to the other parts that we don't get to. Right. So that's what I used it for, so that. I had a better range. So you got an even more detailed idea yes. of what they know, which is great. Yeah. Um, what, how did the students perform based on what you saw? Um, so it, it turned out what I expected, but it's mm -hmm. something that I needed to see. Yeah. Um, I, you know, they of course knew things like simile and metaphor, mm -hmm. didn't necessarily know oxymoron or idiom. Mm -hmm. So I know that those are things that I'm going to have to focus on now, but I also have the knowledge of the kids that do know those things already. Mm -hmm. So that was good that I was able to see that and I can group them better based awesome. on that. Very good. So do you think overall you were able to kind of hit that goal and we'll address this a little bit more mm -hmm. later. Um, but since we're kind of there, just do you think you were able to hit your goal of getting a more accurate representation, quicker representation of what your students know? Yeah, and, um, and I feel like I definitely got more out of the kids this way because mm -hmm. they're so competitive and they want to have fun. Yeah. That they, I was able to get that without mm -hmm. that, oh, uh, God, that stars book again. Yeah, it was so. different than like the regular paper pencil yes. type of assessment. Yes. Typically, anytime I find that when you pull out a computer or you ask them to use their device or something, they're more likely to do it. Could well, literally, it could literally be the same assessment, but if they're using a device for yes. it, they're more engaged, yes. like right off the bat, which is great. Um, so I just wanted to go back over the checklist with you that we made um, and just kind of look, well, look through it with me mm -hmm. and let me know if there's anything that you think we need to change or tweak or if you were going through the checklist before the lesson and anything that like, you're like, oh, maybe that needs to be reworded. That was kind of confusing. So we have your checklist for setting up the quizzes. So you log mm -hmm. in, um, you're brought to your profile, then you um, can either choose to find your own quiz or make your own quiz. Mm -hmm. If you choose to create a quiz, click create a new question. You, um, when you're at the little box where you're typing in your own questions, you simply type them in, you check which one is the correct answer. Um, and then you assign the time link for how long you want it to appear on the screen, mm -hmm. um, assign the grade level, save it. Um, was that pretty like, self-explanatory? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, especially if you use something like Kahoot before it's somewhere. Okay, so, yeah. good. And then administering is just a little bit different. Um, you choose either a live game or assign for homework. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, we suggested using the classic mode because it's more individualized. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, when you scroll down under settings, make sure you click on attempt. Uh, check whether or not you want students to be allowed to see the correct answer after the answer, and that was kind of up to you mm -hmm. if you wanted to do that. Um, check or uncheck shuffling the questions, mm -hmm. which I think I told you before, I like doing that because if they happen to be like next to someone and they glance over their screen, yes. it's not the same. Yes. Their A yes. may be different than their neighbor's yes. A. Which um, I, I definitely did that. So, and yeah. I didn't want them to see the answers. So, I, mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Um, when you've uh, checked or unchecked your setting options, click host game, mm -hmm. tell students to uh, log into joinmyquiz.com and have them enter the code for the specific game. Uh, make sure students write their actual name because they might try to choose some random Which like screen name. Did, but... uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so just so that you know who is who. Mm -hmm. um, and then when all students are logged in, then you 
can start the assessment. Yep, yep. it was so, good. Good, mm -hmm. awesome. Um, very good. So, um, now I've just got some questions I just want to ask um, about just how it went and what you noticed and kind of just next steps moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, so, is there anything like important that you really want to talk about today related to the, the tool or the strategy? Like anything? And if not, that's okay. Um, no, not off the top of my head. Yeah. It, it went fairly well. Good. Okay, so um, what specifically um, went well? Um, the kids enjoyed it. They luckily a lot of them had used it before, mm -hmm. so it wasn't like it was this like glaringly new thing to them. So yeah. they were were fairly good with it. Um, getting them to go outside of that, like you know, make sure that you're not treating this like a cahoot mm -hmm. and actually get it right. That was mm -hmm. one thing. But they were fine with that. Good. So, um, no, overall, it, it went really well. They Good. they treated it like they should. So. Good. Awesome. Uh, what did you learn from your band as a teacher? That we shouldn't be afraid to integrate technology with things like pre-tests or assessments. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we think of like a, t like a test or a quiz or something, yeah. it has to be pencil, paper. Yeah. And I think that having these different options and know that they can be individualized and stuff mm -hmm. like I mean it's there to benefit us yeah. so we might as well take advantage of it so. right and it hopefully makes it easier like from a grading perspective yes, as well absolutely. um what if any roadblocks did you run into or have you run into any uh no the only roadblocks of course would be like kids trying to be jerk wads at first and <laughs> then you gotta <laughs> take their name out or whatever right. to get them they to... They write like a goofy name or yes, something. Yes, yes. Yeah. But once you, you know, bring it up again, they're good. Yeah, but good. Other than that, it was fine. Um, what are you seeing that shows that this tool is successful? And we kind of touched on that a little bit earlier. Um, well, it was pretty easy to use. Yeah. The ease of access is great. Um, and I think that the being able to see everything afterwards was mm -hmm. super easy. Right. So it, it wasn't difficult to use at all and it took no time to set up. Good, so. good, awesome. Um, is this a strategy that you want to stick with like as it is so you're the, using the tool is something that you might want to continue doing moving forward? Oh yeah, good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Awesome, and you probably saw if you were like messing around with the, the website, you probably saw all of the different mm -hmm. built-in already made quizzes that are already there yeah and, and you know of course it's gonna just keep being more so right absolutely might as well add to and help out um so basically so i'm assuming you don't want to choose a new strategy no, um no. uh do you want to change the way we measure the progress towards the goal which i think we kind of touched on that but I mean, that seems like you're good with yeah. how you're measuring yeah, that that's fine. um so we like our goal mm -hmm. um when would you like to meet again? Because I would like to meet again. I would like, hopefully you're doing another assessment soon and then I mm -hmm. can meet with you. Mm -hmm. um, well, because now I can start doing assessments on the individual strategies. Right. So I can start looking at stuff for that. And so since this was a pretest, perhaps mm -hmm. after you actually go through your lessons with figurative mm -hmm. language, so maybe I come back after yes. um, mm -hmm. you've done all of that and then you do your final assessment mm -hmm. and then we can just kind of talk about and see when um any um uh let's see is there anywhere else i can help you like in terms of helping you with the the tool or anything before you try it again was there anything that was confusing no i'll probably mess around with it a little more before we have another meeting mm -hmm. again so i'll let you know if anything comes up gotcha that. Mm -hmm. gotcha so you seem to like quizzes, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, would you be interested in learning to use like a different tool to kind of build that toolbox of technology oh, yeah. resources? Absolutely. Awesome. So what, I was wondering, what do you look for in a technology tool? Like what do you hope for you that it Easy, accomplishes? Like it, as long as it's pretty easy to set up quick for the most part, mm -hmm. um, fun for the kids if at all possible. Yeah. So. Engaging, mm -hmm. you know, easy to troubleshoot yes. issues. Yes. Um, Cause that's always something that if, if I have to like go to too many places to figure out the issue, that, that always throws me off. So I imagine for other people, it's yeah. you know, like that as well. Um, 
So just quizzes seem to meet the criteria that you're looking for. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, good. Um, so I think that you know we can continue to use quizzes. Mm -hmm. We can use it for because we've got um, how many? Do you know how many um, skills that you have after figurative language? Two more. Two more. Well, that would be great. So we can kind of just see. We can just continue using it over yes. the course of the next yes. few strategies. See how it helps you. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I can look for and try to find, I've already got some, you know, at the top of my head that I'm thinking of right now that you might be able to use. If okay. not this year, then hopefully next year as well. Um, but I'm excited that it, you know, it seemed to work out for you.